when I was a kid and growing up, I've always felt embarrassed about the kind of art that I did and the kind of work that I did. But why? Because today in our society, there's a stigma that anything that's spray painted or airbrushed is automatically graffiti. And what's graffiti? It's vandalism, right? principles or rules. That definition sucks. It uses the word moral defining morality. There is no definitive rule book explaining the difference between right and wrong. Meaning it is left up to human interpretation to determine what constitutes good and bad. So what is your opinion? What's your opinion on street art? It's cool. That's it? Nothing else? Uh, it brightens up the area and it gives a bit of atmos and vibe. It's cool. Street art. Yeah, cool. Yeah, back in the day, it used to be seen as a bad thing, but it's a good thing. What do you think of all this street art? What's your opinion on it? It's good. That's it? Do you think all street art is moral? It's immoral. Some people believe all street art is ethical. I disagree with that. Firstly, who? Who are the fiends who believe street art is unethical? Well, they look a little something like this. And they see it as a nefarious activity conspiring to overthrow the human race. However, I disagree. What I believe is that there are two... Well, uh, actually, let me just show you. When street art is more, there are only two types of street art in this world. Vandalism or art. Vandalism is the clear destruction of property. However, art is the clear intention of making something better. Vandalism is immoral and not okay. Art is moral and therefore okay. This? This is definitely not art. None of that is moral street art. None of it. Not art. This is a tough one uh, because obviously someone's gone to a lot of effort in doing this. However, I still don't think this is moral. Subway art? Maybe. Street art? Moral street art? No. That? That's vandalism. It's not street art. It's not okay. Technically, that's not in the street. It's in a shop. However, if that was in the street, it would be counted as more street art. And I'm not saying that just because I'm in my favorite Mexican shop. That would be okay. This, this is more street art. It's on the street and there's clear intent to try and make the place better. H however, it's not that simple. The, the, the morality of art is so much more complicated than that. Art? Art is subjective. Just like morality, there's no definitive right or wrong. However, most people can tell the difference between art like this and garbage like this. Even me. And believe me, I'm no master of art. This is my attempt at drawing Spider-Man from just two years ago. If this was on the street, this would be considered immoral and defamatory vandalism. 
but why? Everyone with eyes can see this is junk, but why? There are three factors that determine the difference between vandalism and art. One, effort. That's to be clear evidence effort was put in. Two, significance. Their piece has to have some sort of societal significance. Three, the artwork has to simply provide purpose to something. Generally, a piece of mole street art should satisfy two of these. This is not art. There is no purpose, significance, or any effort shown. Immoral street art. This one's quite a tough one, because at first glance, it just seems like ordinary vandals. However, when you look more closely at it, it has purpose. It is serving somebody's name. This is art. This is moral art. Tools for making street art, on a scale of mine to Picasso's ability. Firstly, we have the pencil. This is a good for nothing piece of shit. Only an absolute idiot would use a pencil. Next, we have paint. Paint is old school, and it's very time consuming. However, it can look cool. Like this. This was made with paint. However, what a spray painter could have done in one day, the guy took three weeks building that. Paint? Meh. Finally, we have spray paint, which is by far the best tool in terms of efficiency and effectiveness. In fact, it demolishes all other pitiful competitors. In spite of all of this, art is art. Google defines art as the expression of human imagination, which is subjective. However, this is the only way, as art is always subjective. However, these three factors will help. In my opinion, if it doesn't satisfy two, it cannot be deemed moral street art.